So let's go to this. This is another uh, reason for optimism, movement for People's Party. So this Saturday, July 11th, there's uh, a, a mass action. You can go to peoplesparty.org uh, to find out where one is near you. Um, and what they're calling for is a people stimulus, defund police, Medicare for all, basic income, cover payroll, cancel rent, suspend debt payments, because uh, you know they're going to be rolling out the final stimulus bill coming up here and uh an eye roll is the absolute appropriate response yeah, I just... to even i'm saying that for anyone listening to the podcast brigida <laughs> just gave a perfectly timed eye roll which is the most appropriate response <laughs> to the government's quote unquote stimulus bills for the people yeah. <laughs> for the people cares act we care <laughs> do you it do yeah you? you just i mean if you really want to sum it up in just the basic most basic nuts and bolts they were like hey banks Here's a bunch of money because you asked for it. Are you going to help people get some of this? Maybe. We don't care. Okay. We don't either. We're going on vacation. Rinse and repeat. Except for the yeah. vacation part. They technically mm -hmm. only did that once. But the rest of it, rinse and repeat. That's been mm -hmm. every freaking bill. And well, then yeah, they made the banks made billions of dollars in the loan initiation fees just from that, which is why they were prioritizing the bigger loans over the smaller ones. Yes. Well, in the whole PPP thing, that was a total scam. Yeah. And, and and it's like, did some of like, I mean, cause sometimes like I tweet about that and there's, there's people on Twitter who are like, well, I know a, a certain small business that got something and it's like, okay, did some of it eventually quote unquote trickle down? Uh, yes, a little bit of it did, but what that was intended for small businesses and who ended up getting it. I mean, th there were uh, people tied to Pelosi who got it, people tied mm -hmm. to Trump who got it, all these major corporations that got it. And that was by design. You have this first come, first serve model. You have it designated so that a lot of institutions qualify that shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. Well, who's going to get that money first? The, the, the big corporation who has lawyers working on their application day in and day out, and they're ready to hit send as soon as it becomes available online. Or the actual small business that's run by a family that's worried about their kids, that's mm -hmm. worried about their employees, that's worried about j just getting food on the table and figuring out what's next because they're seeing their lives just completely change. Who's going to get it first? You know, I mean, it's just such a blatant F you to the people. Well, they left uh, the loopholes in the bill on purpose. So they said small business, but they weren't accounting for some of these are franchises with multiple locations. And so each location may be considered a small business, but it's all under this big corporate umbrella and they were still able to tap into those funds. And like you said, I do think that was by design. So what if we just, hear me out, we just replace the entire old federal government. We, we just fire everybody. Everyone is completely fired. You're, ju you're just gone. And uh, we replace it with just an ATM machine that says Wall Street only. Like, what do you think? I mean, cause then it's like, everyone knows what's really going on now. Like everyone knows, like- and, I think and everybody every already does know. And that's the saddest part about all of it is like the wool is off. Like the, everybody can see it. You think everybody, I think a lot of people still don't. Maybe everybody I know. <laughs> 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 Maybe I'm preaching to the choir here. <laughs> I mean, we got this. We yeah, know. We got it. <laughs> no, I, I hear you though. I mean, more people are realizing. More people and, because of shows like yours, like we and and like ours. There are more places for people to go to get information now that was not the case. Even you know, when I was in college, we didn't even have. We barely had iPhones. Meaning, we barely had a computer no. in our pocket. You know, like you, yeah. you couldn't really like have easier access to as much information. You didn't have quite the way of the level of like podcasts that are out there. You had some YouTube channels, but even that was just being born. It was in its infancy. No, I'd, I had to take a step back to think like, okay, well, wait a second. When were, when were iPhones really? So yeah. Um, yeah, that was when I was in college. Were you a quick texter? Was I a quick texter? So, all right. So what I, I mean so, by that? Yeah. You like, were? Did I start texting? Like, did I start texting people? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, I wasn't. So no, you were like the call guy. I was the call guy, which I actually appreciate nowadays. Like you when do? people call, I'm like, "Oh, hello." This is very important. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was. So I thought it was weird at first, and 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 so it's like, you know, I I, I think you and I are around the same age range, and and yeah, so we are. texting started happening when we were like, I think, 
either in college or like about to enter college was when texting mm -hmm. started on phones. Mm -hmm. And I, think I had texting in high school as well, but it wasn't, it definitely was, you know, we had pagers back then, not in high school, but junior high, you know, and yep. people left like yep. stupid texts on the, uh, the pagers. 911. It's yeah, real important. It's real. <laughs> so and so might have a crush on me. 911. That's what it's 911 for. Call By the me way, back. I did not have a pager. I was not lucky enough to have a pager at that age, but I had a lot of kids at my school who did. I did not. I was not cool enough to have a pager. Yeah. I was not that important. I, I did not have a pager. Um, <laughs> and when I first got a cell phone, I didn't really use it much because I was just like, well, I don't, I mean, I don't know, like all my friends live in my neighborhood. I usually yeah. just walk. This was back when you would just walk to your friend's houses and bang on the door. Right. Back if they were then. there, they were there. And if they weren't, oh well. You moved on. You moved yeah. on with your life. And, uh, but I, I remember when people would text, because remember like at first, like the text message was like the entire screen and you had to like, because you had like a little oh, flip yeah. phone or whatever. And you'd be like, what is this? Like you had to like scroll down to just see a sentence. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what's the point of this? Yeah, so whenever yeah. someone would text me, I would just call them. <laughs> Cause it'd be like, it'd be like, what's going on tonight? And like, I'm not gonna, in the time, in the time you would read the three sentences that I text back to you, we could have had five conversations. I, I still feel that way today. Yeah. It is still the case today, but mm -hmm. now, you know, I've come around to the way we just all do things. And now, you know, if somebody, I, got up early my wife had a zoom brunch uh, a zoom book club brunch That's and cute. uh yeah well a lot of the uh, a lot of the people were east coasters so oh, it so started yeah yeah for them. so it was 9 a.m for her mm, so but she wanted to do it she new, got up yeah. mm -hmm. so she got up for it she was excited so i kind of like was wrestling earlier than usual too and uh, I decided, well, I'm up early on a Sunday. That doesn't happen often. This is kind of neat. I'm going to go to the farmer's market, get some fresh veggies. And so uh, I, I called on my way there. I was like, I'm going to see what my sister's up to. And uh, she thought something was wrong. Because not, not just because I was calling, because we do talk on the phone somewhat regularly, but because it's I was calling. Yeah, I was yeah. calling that early. <laughs> She's like, I didn't, you don't really do this. Why are you awake? And I'm like, yeah. I just, the, the breakfast club brunch, I wasn't invited. But, uh, uh, you get your own breakfast at, club, yeah. I got my own club. I'm going to the farmer's market, going to get some carrots. Oh, the good old days when we could go to the farmer's market. Some of them are still open around here. Are they? I went, I think there was only one week where I couldn't go because it, hmm. it made, I mean, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. You, you got to get food. Yeah. And there it's like you're outdoors. Yeah. Everybody, you know, everyone had a mask on. I did not see one person who didn't have a mask on at the farmer's market. Not one person. Um, you know, there were hand sanitizing stations everywhere. They had the tape marks down. Only, you know, when you would go up to the booth, only one or two people were allowed in at a time. You would get your fruits or veggies and move on. So it was, uh, but not all of them were open the whole time, mm -hmm. even in the LA area. I mean, I, I was lucky some of the ones close to me were pretty much open throughout. There were a couple weeks where, you know, like it was, I think it was like only like Long Beach or something like that was open, which is a ways from me. But, um, but yeah, I was able, I've, I've been able to farmers market it up pretty, pretty decent. <laughs> Good. That was actually like our big excursion for the week. It's like, we, we, we were living like, it, like it was kind of like a little house on the prairie existence. <laughs> like, like there was one time where I actually said to my wife, Hey, are we going to the farmer's market? And she was like, well, I have, I, I'm working on the yeast because she's been baking bread. Oh, nice. So she's That's like, cool. you have to, you have to feed the starter. Yeah, you do. That's what you do when yeah. you make bread. I didn't know what any of that meant, but, but she was, she was like, yeah, I got to feed it. I was uh, like, you get a, you get a plant. What are you talking about? Are you talking about Lucy? We already really fed her. They're bored. They're just like, I'm going to make stuff I've never made before. That takes a long time. Yeah. No, it's just funny. It's just like, That's dear, are we going to the market? No, I have the bread. The bread <laughs> must rise. We cannot go to the market. All right. I love it. That's life now. So July 11th, action. And uh, if you're interested in that, you can go again. That URL is uh, peoplesparty.org. And you can just go there and you can find out about your, the July 11th action and see where there's an action near you. And a lot of these are car actions. So I'm probably going to be going to the one close to me. So you can you can cool. socially distance. Car protest. I like the car protest. I, I really do. Too. do. <laughs> well, it's great, especially since it's like, you know. It's like a parade. 
it's like a parade. And hey, we live in the Los Angeles area. And if you're saying that I'm protesting by being in wall to wall uh, traffic with cars, I've been I've been protesting for years. Didn't even know it. I've been protesting for a long time. Really doing my thing. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make